Today I am finishing off my new desk with some new drawers. Hey guys, how's it going? In the last video, I built myself a new desk and got it into a usable state. If you missed that video and wanted to check it out, you could do so up here. Now that it's usable, I figured I should get the drawers done. Particularly for the L portion since, well, that's what it was designed for. Basically I'm adding 5 separate drawers and a sliding shelf into the L portion, as well as a single shallow drawer into my desktop hutch. With my plans and dimensions all figured out, I head out into the shop and dig out some scrap half inch maple plywood strips and rip them down to size on the table saw for all of the sides of the drawers. But before moving on with them, I swapped over to the sliding shelf since it's kind of its own thing. Using the same birch plywood as the rest of the desk as the main portion of the shelf, I glue and staple on effectively the drawer front, followed by the drawer slide mounts on the underside, offset a half inch from the edge. I didn't bother edge banding the inside of the drawers or the shelf, other than the front facing edge on the shelf front, and the drawer slide mounts are pretty rough, but I wasn't worried about that since A, you're never going to see it, and B, if anyone does, it's going to be me, and I think it's fine. Moving back to the rest of the drawers, I decided to go simple. Just a box glued and stapled together with the drawer bottom glued and stapled to it. I was chatting with my friend JP at Foxhall Woodworks a while back, and he mentioned that he once tested a drawer box built this way by throwing it across the shop and it stayed together so I'm not too worried about them I'm sure they're fine JP has his own channel here on YouTube as well I will throw a link to his oak desk build up here if you wanted to check that out jumping back into the drawers since I'm just using some scrap material I have on hand a couple of the drawer bottoms got pine plywood and the rest got the walnut plywood left over from my dad's dartboard cabinet I figured I'd been hoarding it long enough and I should use it you know before it gets damaged if you missed that video you can check that out up here as well with all of the drawer bottoms cut out I start cutting up the drawer sides at the miter saw and tacking everything together with glue and staples quick and easy then since the drawer boxes are done they can go into the basement finishing room where I started to give all of them a couple coats of shellac since that's the can that was closest but I ended up running out halfway through the second coat so, oops. I was chatting with Keith at Rag and Bone Brown and he told me that shellac was pretty forgiving since it sticks to almost everything and can be overcoated. So while I'm finishing up the drawers with this Verithane triple thick, whatever it was that was the next closest can, I'll throw a link up here to Keith's desk build for his fiance if you wanted to check that out. With the finishing done and the final coat lightly sanded, I can bring the drawers up to the desk. I started with the hutch drawer. Using a quick jig I whipped up that gives me a square reference to the front of the cabinet with a 7 8 inch setback into the cabinet and a paint stir stick as a shim up. I mark out the front of the drawer slide on both sides and screw them into place. Then using the same paint stir stick to lift the drawer box off the bottom of the drawer cavity I can screw it into the drawer slides as well. Then I move over to the L portion and install the standalone drawer in much the same way. For the stack of drawers on the right side of the L portion, I started using the setback jig, but it looks like my jig wasn't quite as square as I thought it was and the drawer slides were not at the same height right to left. So I ended up cutting a couple spacers that I could clamp in place. One as the setback and the other as the distance between the top of the lower and bottom of the upper drawer slides, which worked out a lot better. Then for the drawers themselves, with the first one being shimmed up with the paint stir sticks, I cut out another set of spacers that could sit on top of the previous drawer to hold up the next drawer. Nice and easy. Well, easier. And with that, all of the drawers are now installed and now they just need fronts. No, I didn't forget about the shelf. I was just holding off on that until I could get all of the staining and polyurethaneing done in one shot. So with that, I head into the shop and get all of the drawer fronts cut up on the table saw and edge banding done around the perimeter. All the way around. That is what perimeter means. 
Then I can take them all into the basement finishing room and get them all stained and polyurethaned. I purposefully left the whole top of the drawer front short to allow the entire top of the drawer front to operate as the handle. So basically, as long as the drawer front is flush with the bottom of the drawer itself, I'm happy. I clamp the drawer front into place and screw in through the back. Easy peasy. Last but not least is the sliding shelf, which is installed pretty much the same way as the rest of the drawers, shockingly enough. Except on this one, the garbage can itself is going to be the drawer pull. And since it has removable inserts for the garbage and recycling portions, I have no issues about screwing in the main unit down to the drawer to keep it in place, which works quite well. And with that, this project is done. At least, until I decide to update it next. I'm quite happy with how this project worked out. The drawers are definitely a nice upgrade since my old desk didn't have any. Now I can store all kinds of junk in there to forget about. Works out well. And with that, I'm gonna call it a video. So thank you all for watching and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you wanna see more up-to-date projects, you can always follow me on Instagram at John the Shriner. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video, and have a good one.